Well, I think I'll head downtown and get caught up in the crowd. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Friday, and this weekend I did want to vlog and show you what I get up to. So in New South Wales, the travel restrictions have been lifted, so we can freely travel into the regional areas. So I will be traveling one hour south into the Southern Highland region of New South Wales. There are a lot of towns in the region inspired by the English countryside, and I'm honestly just super excited to get out of my house and to do something. But also, a lot of these towns were recently affected by bushfires and then COVID-19 placing a travel ban so it will be amazing to go and support some of my favorite local businesses in the area as well so i won't be leaving till tomorrow so today i'll just be mostly doing packing there is a couple of things i want to watch on netflix including 13th i will be sharing all of my favorite resources i've come across um, regarding black lives matter in the description box i wanted to put that early on in the video because of course it is so much more important than anything else i will talk about here if there is anything that you personally find incredibly useful that I haven't included, which I'm sure there is, please leave it in the comments below because I think it'll be amazing um, to kind of just pile our resources together as well. It is now winter in Sydney um, and this is what I'm kind of wearing around the place. I've honestly just been wearing the End of a Stories knitwear. I have like a white t-shirt inside and then just some sweatpants. Very interesting. Um, and this is just kind of like a really cozy, comfortable outfit. But yeah, not the most stylish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lay out everything I wanted to bring over the weekend. And then we're just going to start packing this little suitcase over here. And I do have like a old sheet covering my bedding. Because um, it gives me great anxiety when people just chuck the suitcase on the sheets. This is going to look a bit ridiculous for three days of clothing. But just keeping in mind, it's been a very long time since I've shot like a lookbook. And I wanted to, on this trip, show you some summer and winter outfit ideas. The weather there can be like zero degrees at night. So I am fully planning on wearing like three sweaters at one given time. We've got like the cashmere sweaters, we've got the heat tech. I brought this cami to show you guys in like a summer look. I think paired with this skirt. This is from Mango and I absolutely adore this like one shoulder style tank. And of a stories knit, my baba knit. So yeah. Did not skimp on the knitwear. I want skirt for maybe like dinner or something dressier. And then I just have a pair of Acne Studio jeans, a pair of my wool trousers from Everlane. I will be linking all of these pieces in the description box if you're interested. I think my bag of choice this weekend will be this little Loewe basket bag. Um, this is in the small size if you're wondering. I know this is such a summery bag, but because I'm going on holiday and I'm desperately wishing it was warmer weather. I will just be using this. Um, I have two linen pillowcases here. Just because I always prefer to bring my own pillowcases. I do travel a lot and I also work in hotels. So sometimes things like this makes me a bit paranoid. So I do bring my extra pillowcases. Which is such an unnecessary thing. Um, but yeah. Well I think I'll head downtown and get caught up in the crowd So you know what, I might also take today as a chance to do my May favorites I might just quickly mention the very few that I do have in this video My first favorite this month has been this new linen I recently um, got this beige and white gingham linen from I Love Linen I feel like I just said linen way too many times um, but it's really really lovely in quality. I feel like this linen is definitely made to last. It feels really beautiful and I'm very very excited to see how it wears. I really have very high hopes for it. So this white one is old and this is from H&M which comes at a very 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 different price point and I do feel like you can definitely feel it. This feels much thinner. It is nice but much thinner. Whereas this is a much more luxurious, thicker um, linen kind of material. My next favorite are these white asymmetrical tank tops. I feel like I've seen these on quite a few different bloggers and I absolutely am in love with this style. Um, I just feel like this is super, super chic, but the tank top is also kind of casual. 
I think for a top like this, you need a good like bandeau, which I don't really have. I feel like it's something that I definitely need to get one. But just with the right underwear, I feel like this top would be an amazing piece to wear in the summer. So I've seen this top on a few different bloggers online and I honestly just absolutely love it on every single one of them. The material of it, however, is not the softest. It's a bit average, but I just love, love the style. So some other of my favorites include these Ordinary Serums. This one has been my most used. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've used about half the bottle and I just find that this gives my skin enough hydration in the winter time. I had been previously using this Drunk Elephant one and this one has more ceramides and vitamin B5. While this is obviously just the hyaluronic acid and B5 instead of the ceramides, but I find that they give very similar levels of hydration to my skin and they both do the job really well. The other two I have and have been using is this one which is basically a vitamin C serum. I can't pronounce that. And then the niacinamides. I've heard that niacinamide is great for brightening the skin um, as well as what it says here. I think I will leave things here for today. Um, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to be finishing off some content that I have planned for next week. Um, finished watching 13th, which has been incredibly informative. It is very interesting to see how some of the racism today has stemmed from so far back and how it's all kind of connected. I would highly recommend anyone and everyone to go and watch it. It is incredibly, incredibly informative. The next time you see me, we'll probably be on our way into the Southern Highlands and I am very, very excited. Well, I think our first stop was the little town of Exeter, where we had lunch at the general store. I always find these to be so interesting. This particular one was a post office, a grocer and the cafe combined into one. We spent the next hour or so walking around town and visiting the historic train station as well as the church. You can come too. I hope you will. I see people all around with their heads stuck. So for my eyeshadow, I'm using this RMS color in Garden Rose. It's like a pinky rose gold kind of shade. And then I'll just use my normal Urban Decay Petite Heat palette as well. And then the rest I think is pretty standard everyday makeup. I'm actually wearing the same outfit as yesterday because I realized I didn't get a shot of it. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that when we go out for breakfast this morning and then and then change for today's outfit. For yesterday's outfit now, I wore my Andalusori's grey knit and also my end of a story's coat and I just paired it with a pair of slim wool trousers these are quite old from Everlane and then my Muji sneakers I also have this little lower base roll bag so this is my breakfast for this morning <laughs> this is my second burger in the last like 15 hours and what are you having Jason? Uh, just a bacon and egg roll compared to with all the things I've known before I need to tear it all apart So I got changed um, for today's outfit and I have on another end of a story's black knit I'm wearing my Acne Studio jeans I got these a couple of years ago and they're still holding up really really well same bag and that's it so this is the Robertson Hotel where I think Babe was filmed if you guys have seen the movie we have finished up for the day it is now dark outside and it was a really good day we spent most of it just driving around the Kangaroo Valley Robertson area which is where Babe was filmed um, and it's just like a really pretty really pretty area of the Southern Highlands we just had we just had amazing pizza and I think we're just about to cozy up for a nice movie tonight tomorrow we have a half day here and then we'll be driving back to Sydney Good morning everyone so today is Monday and we just checked out of our hotel we're having breakfast at the same spot as yesterday because we really like the beef burgers um, and then we're just gonna have a really chill day exploring this area before we start driving back to Sydney. Hey. 
Today's outfit is very very neutral and light. I have my same old Muji shoes, Uniqlo jeans that I wear an absolute ton of, and then I have a Uniqlo knit, which unfortunately has a hole in it and I just realized. But it was nice before this, and the same little Loewe basket bag. And you can come too, I hope you will. We're having pies for lunch. We went to Gumnut Patisserie, which is a very, very popular place here. I think they have three, and it's always super busy with like lines. They don't seem to care if they end up Hello everyone, today is Tuesday now so I am back from my trip and I didn't vlog almost as much as I had hoped but I did have an absolute amazing time there It was so great to get away for a few days and I have a couple of minutes right now I'm taking like a 10 minute break and I thought I would show you quickly a couple of the outfits that I would have worn if the weather was warmer. So this would be for those of you who are going into summer vacation, summer holidays. Um, here are a couple of outfits that you can opt for instead. First summer look I want to show you would be this mango asymmetric top. As I said earlier in the video, I just adore this neckline. I think it is so flattering and super super cute. I feel like this skirt is a little bit odd for me because I don't normally go for like really bright fuchsia pinks. But right now, for some reason, I'm just obsessed with this color. If I was going somewhere a little bit more fancy and less muddy, I'll probably have on these golden goose sneakers. I like how the pink kind of matches the skirt. And then always my little basket bag. I just feel like it's the perfect um, kind of holiday companion. I very quickly switched out my skirt with um, this pair of trousers. And this is a pair from Joseph. They're another sale find, I probably got them about 70% off again. I personally love like a lighter look for the summertime. I feel like these trousers pair really nicely with white in creating a very very summery look. And it's also one of those colours that pairs really well if you want to wear tan accessories or even like a straw bag. So this is what outfit number two looks like. My last go-to look would definitely be just a summery dress and then a pair of sandals. I do personally wear a lot of faithful dresses because I find them to be super lightweight and easy for the summertime. I also usually love their designs. Um, this yellow colour is a little bit sheer, so I do have like a khaki coloured um, little bralette inside and I do feel like you can kind of see it a little bit, so just keeping that in mind. But otherwise, I do love the cut and the shape of this dress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video despite it not going exactly as I had planned. I will have another fashion video up later on in the week, in just a couple of days. Probably right after you see this video, um, because obviously I did kind of pause all content last week. So hope you guys enjoy and I will see you very very soon. Bye bye! <laughs>